Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to use NodeMon and how to access server-side files from the client in Node.js. I think it's boring to change the code and restart your Node server to see change effects. It also wastes your development time. To ignore frequently restart your server, you can use Node Monday. Node Moan is very popular NPM package for Node Edge's developer. To use Node Moan, you need to install it globally on your machine. Now go to browser and search Node Moan, then go to npmjs.com. You will see a command to install it by npm. See how popular this one. Now back to your code editor. Here I opened the same project that was created from my previous Node tutorial. If you do not complete that tutorial you can download the source code from guidehub.com. Please check description section for guidehub link. Go to the terminal window or you can do that from the command prompt in Windows. Type npm install g node mon and press enter. Here dash g used to install the package as globally. For this, you can use node mon for any node project. After installation succeeds, type node mon on terminal and press enter. You will see it run node server.js internally. Once again, here server.js is my server entry point file name. That defined in the package.json file. Now check that in browser your server is running. Let's check as it works or not. Change the string node to node daemon. Save it by pressing Ctrl plus S. See terminal your server is restarted already. Go to browser and refresh it. See the string is changed as you return from the server. You don't need to stop your server and start again. Let's learn how to access server files from browser or client. By default, you can table to any files on the server, which one does not return from the server. Go to your code editor and click on the folder icon and create a folder public. It does not matter what the name of your folder. You can give others. Inside this folder create an HTML file. Now add some code for HTML view. Here I add a title and a string inside h3 tag. Go your server.js file. Import path to join your HTML file with the root directory. Now change server response type from string content to file. Refresh your browser. See your browser view is changed as your HTML code. See the text means start appears. Let's try to access a style sheet from the index.html file. Create a CSS file inside the public folder. Add red color for h3 tag. Now add the CSS file reference to HTML file.
Refresh your browser. Go to the console of your browser. For Chrome press F12. You will see an error, which indicates that you have no access to the CSS file. Also, your text color does not change to red. To give access to this file you need to make it static with the help of Express. Here I make the public folder static. So that client can access any file inside the public folder. As you define the public folder as static so you need not add that on the reference. Let's go to browser one more time and refresh it. You will see text color changed from black to red. Also, there is no error on console. If you need the source code for this tutorial check description section. Feel free to give your valuable feedback in comment section. Enough for today, see you soon.